youngsters can take a lot away from that. And I'm sure they learned a lot from the start where it went that way and then to the end where it went the other way. Yeah, it was uh, not not an ideal start, but uh, the the benefit now was that uh, there was some pressure on us, and guys had to respond to some pressure. Some, uh, you know, nobody likes to fall behind in their own building, preseason or not. Uh, these are guys that have a lot of pride, and they were just about to get in their own head before they uh, elevated there. So, uh, and it's. So that's for all the guys, and for the young guys, the young guys I thought were good again. They show a lot of skill and a lot of uh, potential. So, um, just another experience for them. Was that what's a, beyond skill? What's allowed him to acclimate to stand out in these games in this camp? I guess lots of intangibles beyond skill. So, uh, compete, um, you know, sense, feel, um, situational awareness. Very, very intelligent uh, hockey player. That kind of shows the way he finds the open space. That's just all feel and sense, isn't it? Yeah, it's you. You try to coach. You try to coach and help players develop that as much as you can. Um, and the best players do do things naturally in the form of <coughs> what's a, the common term is hockey sense, uh, feel for the game, feel for situations, a knack, uh, an ability to con consistently be in the right positions at the right time. Um, you know, he, he can strip pucks and steal pucks as good as, as anybody um, in this short time of watching him. That was his M.O. prior to, to draft. Uh, he's been able to show that and imprint that identity here. He just uh, has shown to be very, very smart and um, elusive. I think, he, I think he's one of those guys that's, uh, <laughs> that's maybe if he's 5'11 or 6 foot, he's easier to grab, but he can sneak in between coverage areas and... Uh, he takes advantage of the size he is extremely well. But having said that, you still want him to grow. He's going to get stronger, there's no question. Um, I don't think he needs to grow, to be honest with you. He's, he's, a, he's a smart, smart hockey player. And, and like I said, you know, some of these smaller guys in the league, if you think about it, there's a lot of handoffs between coverage area. Defenseman handing off to the forward on a cycle against or forward back check and handing off to a D. And there's always gaps in that coverage. And if you've got a big gigantic guy he's that handoffs easier you got a little guy that little four foot five foot buffer area between coverage areas you can slip in and out of because you don't have that uh, long reach and long size and, and you see him do that you see him take advantage of uh, spaces in between you know a defenseman and a forward in, in the bumper position on a power play uh, he, he doesn't have such a long range that the next guy can get a stick on him quicker uh, and he's smart enough to use that to his advantage you know, it's September still, but <clears throat> what kind of message does the Cousins' reaction send? A big one for me. Um, I even mentioned after the second period that I love the emotion. It's uh, it's only preseason, but uh, to have the emotion and to get charged up is great. you just got to be able to reel it in and focus, and I thought we did that in the third. That was my message uh, almost in its entirety. Um, love the emotion. We should be emotional. It's our building. It's a situation we don't like. But uh, we also have to, at the next drop of the puck, focus. And uh, you know, they did. It. We did a pretty nice job of that in the third in response. What's the process now, Don, as you, Kevin, and everybody else prepare to, to make additional cuts to prepare your team for the next stage of camp? Continue to evaluate. Um, we have two more games. You know, these these two games. There's a couple guys that haven't been in the lineup. That uh, you know, so there's still games to get get. You know, acclimated and ready, the group, uh, but continue to evaluate. You know, players like Benson and, and players that were not with us uh, last season, as we move, you know, move closer to uh, opening night. So, um, much of the same, really. What did you think about the way that Byro returned to the game and just his response after? I mean, it's a tough. That's a tough thing to happen for a guy that's in his situation. Very, very challenging thing um, you know you know him you know his reputation if 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 it wasn't the, the doctor keeping him out of the game you knew he was going to be back he's just that's his character and um, he played very well upon return even with a full face shield on so um, nice to see him back um, bummer that he's cut up the way he is that's for sure did he have a challenge having to be more offensive not just because he scored a couple goals but I mean, even earlier in the game he was he was leading the rush you, you know yeah, less challenge to be offensive, more challenge to be assertive. 
So I think what you saw tonight, jumping up in the play, is, is an offensive way to be assertive. But we want him to be assertive everywhere on the ice, more assertive. When he sees a situation that he can assert, we want him to do that. Closing quick defensively, jumping quicker offensively, taking a shot offensively or getting shots through. But it all falls under the category of more assertive. And, um, you know, that is something that as, as players evolve in their career, it's they become more assertive. They become more comfortable with the league. They become more aware of their responsibilities and, and uh, such and our, their identity. And, you know, for, for Yoki, we're pushing him in that initiative as we are everyone else. But that's what I would say I saw in those situations with uh, Yoki Haro. He's playing more assertive. Have you seen Ryan Johnson's confidence grow maybe as he's gotten more Playing opportunities just seems a little more. He's, you know, what's funny? His confidence, I thought, was as high as we see now at day one. Uh, we're just throwing him in games now, and but from the the moment he came to camp and rookie camp, he, you know, he he went through four years of university. He he went through uh, some, you know, development camps in the summertime. So he even started the rookie camp uh, as a very assertive leadership type of, uh, uh, you know, persona to him. Uh, and then coming into main camp, his confidence was was uh, carried right over, and um, you know as a result, we're seeing you know pretty pretty talented kid uh, play very very well. You took two very young players tonight or this afternoon to put them with Kyle. Do you feel just at this point of the preseason that's something they could really use that experience to play a game with him? Yeah, I don't think I put that much into it. I think it's a bonus that they were with Akposo for those reasons. Um, but our lineup, it just shook out. I was going to leave Benson with Thompson and Skinner and uh, who would have Cousins and Tuck together. I wanted to see those guys together. And it just kind of fell in place from there. Um, but, but as you mentioned that, and I said it earlier in camp, we've tried to take our young prospects and surround them with an older player or two. When I looked at that even before camp started, I said every single older player is now a leader uh, it, by virtue of past work of Kyle Ocposo. So, um, you know, I think the, the same would have been in effect with any guy that returned. We've had some, we have some great, great leadership uh, by virtue of their growth. And Kyle, you can thank Kyle for that, or we can, I should say, uh, to help players like Jost and Krebs and I mean, Cuzzy. They're, these guys are you know, turning into men in front of our eyes, and uh, they're great mentors for, for any of our young prospects. Coach, there were some things that you were, needed to work on last year. Um, as it pertains to the preseason now, is there any developments that make you think that this team can go to the next level? This team, I mean, there's lots of developments that, that tell me this team can go to the next level, and it's the body of work from last year and, and the growth that I just said, the maturity of guys. Uh, just by virtue of age and collective experience. So uh, we do expect that we will reach another level. Uh, we have expected that all along from two years ago, the next level, the next level, the next level. And there's another next level for us. Uh, we all know that. Um, I think uh, if you want to talk specifics, we got, you know, our, our uh, data would, would obviously point to uh, we need to be better defensively. Um, I happen to feel that whenever we turn their attention to defensive uh, you know, we need to grind out a defensive game. They responded very well last year. Uh, so it, it's not, it's less an ability issue. It's more of a focus and commitment issue uh, in, in areas. And we will turn our focus and commitment to areas that we need to improve this season. And I think by virtue of that, uh, we'll, be, we'll see improvement in uh, areas that we target.